Hello, it is uh, Tuesday, April 17th, 2007, and we are going to go ahead and take a look at some stocks we're trading on Wednesday. Let's start out with a short sale today. We'll start out with Pacific Ethanol, symbol PEIX. This stock looks like it's uh, found some resistance along this declining 200-day moving average here recently. And now that it's broken a little bit of support near that $16 level, I think it looks uh, due for a continued drop down towards probably about $15 a share uh, right around in here. So let's see how to set this stock, uh, how to set this trade up for a short sale. You can see that uh, it broke down on uh, Tuesday and then rallied up a little bit here and then we had a little bit of heavier volume come in towards the end of the day as the stock sold off. What I'd like to see is a little bit further confirmation that the sellers have taken back control. So I'd like to sell the stock short below $15.60 a share. I think you can set your stop at about $15.85. So that's a risk of $0.25. Cents. And if our target of $15 a share is attained, that would give us $0.60 cents of profit. So about 1 to 2 and a half as far as a risk-reward ratio. Uh, two longs we're going to look at. First is fuel cell, symbol FCEL. And you can see this stock had a big gap up, pulled back down, and found support along that 200-day moving average. The stock then had an event two days ago that saw it gap up and hold on to those gains, but gave back a little bit of those uh, again today. So the volume, though, was lighter on this uh, little pullback in here. If you look at the weekly time frame, you can see that uh, it's really kind of a mess. But basically what we're going to be looking for on the uh, daily time frame is a move back up to uh, where it's been recently at about eight and a half dollars a share and here's where we'll uh, so basically right back up around this area the way I would suggest playing this stock would be to buy it on strength above seven dollars and eighty five cents that will make a higher high in here we can then set our stop down at about um, seven dollars and sixty six cents so below the five day moving average and well below yesterday's low and this gap low as well so if it breaks below that, then I think this gap is going to fail to hold. Uh, but this higher high should give us a, a good low risk uh, place to get involved. That just give us 19 cents of risk, in fact. And if it does go ahead and attain our target at eight and a half dollars a share, that would be 65 cents of upside. So about a one to three, uh, three and a quarter risk reward ratio. Finally, we'll look at IACI. IACI, right. Uh, this is IACinteractive.com, uh, and this stock has had some resistance in here recently at 38.75. Let's take a look at the daily time frame first, so we can see what's going on here. Um, this stock is has has actually had uh, resistance on the daily time frame in that area, but it looks very similar to the way the markets have looked recently, and uh, you know those those all broke out. Basically, we've got this cup and handle, if you want to call this another a little higher or low then we could call it an ascending triangle but the point is we've got resistance up near this 3875 level if it breaks past that 3875 I think it probably makes a run for the forty dollar level so that'll be our target would be forty dollars a share buy it I would say above 3875 and uh, that would give us a dollar twenty five of upside as far as where your risk goes I think your stop could go down at about thirty eight dollars and forty five cents so that would be just thirty cents of risk for the opportunity to hopefully to make a dollar twenty five in IACI